Yo, what is up, guys? It's Ryan here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, as you can tell in the title, we are going to be doing the Overwatch rant. Now, I've been waiting to do the Overwatch rant for such a long time now that I think it's time to do it. Now, you're saying, Ryan, you only have like five videos up on your channel. Well, ever since I got Overwatch, about a week in, I've had this list of complaints that... I don't, I mean, there's almost nothing Overwatch to do about it, except for one or two of them. So, let's, let's jump right into them. So, first thing we're going to talk about is bad teammates. Now, you're probably thinking, Ryan, what do you mean by bad teammates? I'm thinking of the teammates that go out of the way to really annoy you, such in as Maze, with their walls, that could really just mess up a huge crucial point crucial point of the game now let's look at it let's look at this so let's say there's a diva and a may on the same team a diva is trying to clear the point and to get farther in and trying to clear to push in the may trying to defend herself puts up a wall the same time Eve diva goes for her alt and with the wall anyone standing behind the wall which adding another protection to diva's Alt, which could kill them, clear the point, they're protected. That is an example of either a, or a mistake or a bad teammate. Let's look at another bad teammate. Let's say there is a Zenyatta on your team. And the Zenyatta is discording, discording, and you're super low. And, you know, you're, you're going hard, and you're super low. You're right next to the Zenyatta. Not out of the way, right next to him, say Zenyatta, and you say, I need healing. Doesn't throw the healing orb on you, not thinking for the team. And I'm going to go with one final point. Actually, I have two final point points for this uh, su subject. We're going to look at Widowmaker. Widowmaker is supposed to be a sniper. That is her whole point. That's the point of Widowmaker, to be a sniper. But, when a Widowmaker is right up front, now I don't mind if every once in a while you get into the action, but if a Widowmaker is battling with their assault gun the entire time, that is an example of a bad teammate. Because, at that point, you might as well be playing Soldier. Same thing, but better, with Soldier. And the final point is, teammates that just don't know who, when to pick the right character. If you have two defense, if you have two defense on your team, two attack, and two tanks. I mean, sorry. Two defense, two attack, and one tank. And if you need a healer, a healer to really, like, solidify the team, to get the team that can have a chance of winning, and they go with another defense character. And that's another example of a bad teammate. Not thinking for the team. And not thinking what the team really needs at that point. Alright, we're going to get past bad teammates and we're going to go to the next thing. And that is getting golden guns. Now, I'm pretty, if you guys, I don't know if you have golden guns if you're watching this. But, I feel like getting golden guns is way too difficult. Let's look at it this way. You need to get 3,000 competitive points. Which you get 10 competitive points every win or tie. That is 300 wins. 300 wins okay absolutely ridiculous 300 wins in a single to get one gun to get a single gun is absolutely crazy 300 wins now I, I broke it down for you math wise Just real simple math I I may put it up on the screen really simple so if if you're a try hard overwatch player and you play 20 hours of Overwatch a day, straight competitive, 20 hours. But let's say that your teammates aren't aren't that well. So you win about 50% of the time, let's say. So in 20 hours, normally you get about five competitive games off in an hour. So in the hour, you so in that 20 hours, you play a total of 100 games a day. 100 games a day. And then 
50% of 100 is 50. Real simple math, I told you. I told you this was going to be real simple math. So, if you win 50 games a day, that would be about 6 healthy days. Like days that are actually not even healthy days. Like days that are not good for your body. Sitting down in a chair all day. 6 full days to get 1 golden gun. Of just repeating and repeating competitive for such a long period of time. Now I kind of went over exaggerate on that, but that's how much it would take. About a total of six days. If you add in full 24 hours, that is another 24. So seven days, seven days of winning would take you to get a golden gun. Now there's 22 characters, 22 characters in Overwatch. So seven, seven times 22, 154 hours. 154 hours of playing to get golden guns for every team. Sorry, for, yeah, for every character. That can't be right. Alright guys, I, that was wrong, but... But yeah, look at this, 150, I just had to rethink this. So, that is so much playing time, okay? Absolutely ridiculous to get golden guns. Now, let's look at my final topic, and my final topic is one that uh, a lot of people complained about, and that is the price of the game. The price of the game, in my opinion, is absolutely ridiculous, okay? The price of Overwatch for PS4, which I play on, is $60 full dollars. Sixty full dollars. Sixty dollars to play multiplayer. Just to play multiplayer, sixty dollars. There's no campaign in the game. No, none, no campaign. Just multiplayer. Now, there's a simple way to fix this. Add multiplayer. I mean, you do already do the animated stories. Like, this is where I don't understand. You do the animated stories... But you can't put in a campaign for a game? I would love to do, like, a Genji uh, campaign. Or, like, I don't know, a Tracer. That would be awesome. I think that would add so much to the game. And add a lot more playing time. Because some people, they don't have all this time to play Overwatch. And normally when you get around level 40, it's kind of repetition for some people. So... You just need to add more stuff, and that's what they're do trying to do. But campaign would add a lot of time to it also, because of people just liking to do story. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this rant. I don't know if it's going to go over well, but thank you guys for watching. If you watched the full video, it, just thank you. You know, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Leave a like and subscribe. Just have fun, guys. Don't do anything crazy. And, uh, yeah. Stay strong. See you guys.